Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the First Family of Las Vegas' Daily Free Winner Show, brought to you by who? The best website on the planet, your one-stop sports betting shop, Sports Memo. Now, before Dion and I, by the way, good morning, Dion. Good morning. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday, darling. Thank you. How are you doing today? You look very, very fetching today. Well, quite you. fetching, I should say. Thank you. So do you. you thank you. quite dapper today. I shaved. I went a couple of days without shaving, and Dion likes that once in a while. You know, it's like when you're, guys, when you're, when your girl starts changing her hair color, it's, it's like messing around without messing around. But she liked it. I had a beard for a couple, not a beard, but a couple of days. Us, Sic going us Sicilians, we could not shave for like two days and it comes out the year. But um, we've got a few great things to tell you about we today. Do. First and foremost, guys, this March 18th in like a week and a half, mm -hmm. um, you could come do a meet and greet with all your all your wager talk and sports memo favorite cappers and personalities over the Superbook at the Westgate in the clubhouse. The clubhouse is right in the Superbook from 2 to 7 p.m. Come and meet all your favorite personalities from the wager talk and sports memo families. Dan and I will be there. We're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Love to meet as many of you as we possibly can. We want to thank you for your support in person. Maybe have a a drink and have a few laughs, discuss sports betting or sports betting strategies, strategy, strategies, that too. We're going to discuss <laughs> that too. It's Monday morning. I'm excited. I'm revved up two pots of coffee. Um, other, uh, also, if yes. you, if I may sports fans, look at this, this is a work of art for all you sports betting people. Look at me. Look at that. <laughs> I should never cover the face. The face is the moneymaker sports betting. Oh God. I love it. My dear friend, Dean owns this great company called sports better. Steve's. I am not a paid endorser. I just love this product. All right. Sport, go to Instagram, sports underscore betters, B-E-T-T-R-S underscore T's. They have the best quotes. Every quote you could possibly imagine covering favorites, dogs, juice, money line, bad beats, good beats, betting parlays, betting teasers. You, they have them all for every sport. They have them for men and women. Thank go you. over there. Instagram, sports underscore better, B-E-T-T-R underscore T's. Listen. You're going to love it. I promise you that. I've About a dozen of you have hit me up over the weekend. I sent you over there. We're happy. They're getting orders. I just, I'm not a paid endorser. I just love the product. Listen, if I ate in a restaurant, I loved it. I'm going to brag about it. Speaking about <laughs> bragging about it, get ready. Are you ready, Dee? I'm ready. Tonight, Dan and I, guess who we're going? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! This is a hat that I wear sometimes when we have a little bit of couple play. But, um, uh, no, um. Tonight, some good friends of ours are going to be over at the Country Music Awards at yes, Allegiant Stadium. We love Allegiant Stadium. We've been there 15, 20 times, 15 uh -huh. or 20 events. Dolly Parton's hosting, Jason Aldean, Luke Bryan, Carrie Underwood. Some of those people are very good friends of ours. We're going. We're going to have a good time. No, I will not be wearing the hat or the boots or the jeans. I'm Too going. Bad, I'm a Guido. Bling, bling, pinky ring is what I'm going to be wearing. I'll be dressed <laughs> like a Guido. We're going to have a lot of fun. Then afterwards. Yes. Well, oh, by the way, keep an eye on us because the show is going to be live on uh, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. We're going to be close up. You're not going to be able to miss us. But afterwards, we're going to go see one of our favorite people in the world, one of the best singers on the planet. You know her from The Voice, Megan Ruger. We're going to go over to Mandalay Bay, mm -hmm. Rhythm and Riffs. She's just amazing. She was amazing on The Voice. We're going to go here. Hi, Megan. So let me <laughs> one more time. Yeah, <laughs> Guys, it's Monday. I'm going to have two pots of coffee. We had a great weekend. Woo! I went to Vito yesterday, 8-2 and two run college basketball, 2-0 and oh in NBA, 10-2 and two run, Dion's kicking butt, 1-0 and oh yesterday. She's a little more particular than I am. Obviously, she married me. Listen, <laughs> but uh, we've got some great things to tell you about today. We've got a great guest, our usual Monday guest, who is just all over the leaderboards as well. We've got some free plays we want to give you. But first, Dion, take it away. Take it away. All right. Well, we have a huge discount for everyone at Sports Memo. The rest of college basketball straight through the final seconds of the title game for just $99. You can get it for either me, Joey, or even our guest today, Jesse Shule. Right now, available at Sports Memo. $99. That is a steal. And also, don't forget, today is also $9 Monday over at Sports Memo for everybody on the site. We love you guys, man. And Sports Memo... They're just the greatest, guys. They appreciate all of you out there that give us the support. And we want you to know customer appreciation. It is never ending over at Sports Memo. $9 Mondays. Yes. I know I have a $9 play. We'll tell you about later. Dion has one. We'll talk to Jesse later. We'll see what he's got going on. Without any further ado, and I can't believe I haven't done this before. Uh -huh. uh, when introducing our Monday guest, yes. I wish that I had Jesse's girl. <laughs> I love him. You love him. We call him the body. 
He has got, I mean, if you like mine, you got to see his. Jesse, stop sending me pictures of you in a Speedo. I love you. He is our Monday usual guest. And I got to tell you, he is killing it on the basketball leaderboards. He's killing it on this show. Let's bring him aboard. Let's wish him a happy Monday. Jesse, welcome, brother. Good morning. Good morning, Joe and Dion. Happy to be here again. We absolutely adore you. And now, sports fans, Jesse and I are friends even before uh, we started doing the shows here over the last year or so on Sports Memo. We are friends, and I talked to Jesse, and and he has the cutest – I don't mean to bring it up, Jesse. He, ha, he has the most beautiful family you've ever seen. I don't want to bring up specific things without asking Jesse's permission. But, man, I see pictures on your social media of you and your family, Jesse. Beautiful family. I just – we just – we look at we look at them over the weekend after I was talking to you. Gorgeous family, and we just – we love you guys. God bless. Welcome Monday, Jesse. It's Monday. I see you all over the basketball leaderboards. I am very happy to see that. Uh, how was your weekend? It's a pretty good weekend, especially with the NBA. And, of course, as you mentioned, the family. And we had a great uh, Sunday dinner last night, prime rib, and we all enjoyed that a lot. I saw that. Thanks for the invite. You know, I could have been, <laughs> I could have been up there in five or six hours, you know. Um I know uh, kicking off Monday is just amazing for us as well as our viewers out there because you've been doing really well on this show and really well overall on the leaderboards over at Sports Memo. Can you tell everyone what you got going on as your free play and then we'll talk about what you're excited about tonight and over the next few days, please? Well, I hope you all are as excited as I am about the uh, conference tournaments this week. And uh, this morning I've got my eye on the West Coast Conference and I'm looking at Santa Clara as a live dog against St. Mary's. Uh, the bookmakers know that most, most of the betters are going to be looking at St. Mary's here. Um, the Gales are coming off that big 67-57 win over Gonzaga, and that's going to set them up to be a little overvalued here, I believe, and uh, perhaps due for a letdown. You know, anything can happen in these conference tournament games. And if you look at the history between these two teams, the Broncos actually do quite well against the Gales. They're five and one against the spread in the last six head-to-head -head meetings. They won three of those six games outright. And uh, the Broncos have actually finished the season just as strong as the Gales. They, uh, they won four of their last five games. They averaged 87 points per game in those games. The one game they lost was at Gonzaga. They were a 22-point road dog. They lost by 12. They're getting five and a half points here this morning. That line could go up, so you might want to sit on this until about noon and pull the trigger on Santa Clara getting those points. There you go. Jesse, the body shul, says Santa Clara. He said, sit on it. Be like Fonzie and Potsy. <laughs> sit on it, Potsy. Uh, Jesse, you're doing some great work over at Schwarzman. I do see you all over the leaderboard. Another great weekend. Can you tell everyone maybe what you're excited about tonight or even over the next few days over at Sports Memo, please? Well, it's a bit of a short card uh, tonight, but I do have another NBA play. I have won 18 of my last 22 NBA plays. I don't play a lot of NBA games, but when I do play, I win 82% of the time since Christmas. So, uh, yeah, join me tonight for another uh, NBA winner. 18 and four, the last 22. And wow, that's amazing. Obviously, the gift that keeps on giving a Christmas present from Christmas to today. And guys, he walking like he talking. He's winning. You know, he's just a great capper. 18 to 4 is just, it's unheard of in this business. And he is a particular capper. It's about quality, not quantity. Ask yourself, would you rather have one wife like Heidi Klum or 100 like Rosie O'Donnell? I think we'd all agree on the Heidi Klum. <laughs> um, that's what you get when you get Jesse Shule. You get quality. You may not get five or ten plays a day, but what he's, what he's putting out is, high, is hitting at a high percentage rate. And go use those discounts that you see at Sports Memo. Also, you can see a discount for Dion, myself, and Jesse, the rest of NCAA, $99. Jesse, would you be so kind to stick around to the end of the show? You bet. Love you. He'll be right back. Jesse, we'll see you in a minute or two. Dion. Yes. Wow. Well, you look very cute in purple today. Oh, thank you. All right. I think we're a cute couple, actually. <laughs> very cute. Um, uh, let's do uh, – what's going on? So now – Again, you've been on the leaderboard college basketball all season. I have. I know yesterday you yesterday. put out – you had a big one yesterday. You put out one game. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes, just the one game yesterday. Nice win over there with that one. Okay, and and just kicking butt and taking names every single day on the college basketball leaderboard since the opening tip-off of the season. Can you tell everybody what you got going on the premium side and then tell everyone your free winner tonight, please? I do. 
Um, I am five and two the last three days in college hoops. And today I have just one big winner for everybody for my $9 Madness Monday play. You can get it right now at Sports Memo. And let's go ahead and start this week off on a high note with that winner tonight. There you go. And, and sports fans, killing it, killing it, killing it on the free plays on this show. If I'm not mistaken, seven and two. Seven and two. The last nine days. My last, yes. And I believe I have won my last three in a row. Three in a row, I believe it is. The guys, if our free plays are killing it, what do you think our premium plays will do? But well, let's let the first lady of Vegas tell you about her free winner today. Dion, if you will, please. All right. Now, guys, I know there really isn't too much marquee matchups on the board today, but something caught my eye very early, and I wanted to get it out to you on the show today to keep my free play hot streak here on the first family show alive. I won my last three in a row here and seven of my last nine, as Joey did say, and today I will keep that free play win streak alive. All right, take it away, free play. All right, so now for my free play today, a pleasant surprise this season. Towson is 25-7 and seven overall and 15-3 and three in conference play. They come in here winning seven in a row. Seven in a row, 11 of their last 12 straight up. Now, Delaware, they don't have an impressive um, uh, on the record right now, nor are they covering with any consistency. They have dropped three of their last four against the spread. These two teams are very similar offensively. <clears throat> where are you going to see the mismatch on the defensive side of the court, where the Tigers are a top 40 team defensively, allowing just 63.9 points per game? They're also one of the best squads in the country on the defensive boards. So the Blue Hens are not going <clears> to <throat> get too many second-chance shots here. Towson has taken each of the two meetings this season, both straight up and against the spread, by seven points on the road and by 12 points at home. By the way, they're also 21-9 ATS, the last 30 overall, while Delaware is just 1-5 ATS, their last six following an ATS win. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Tigers here. First Lady of Las Vegas says take the Towson Tigers. And, guys, you better listen to her. Wow. Seven and two in the last nine, including three in a row on the free plays. Guys, it is amazing. I am very happy. I know you're happy with us. Guys, we got Jess free play. We got Dion free play. Where do we go now? I know that yesterday you had an amazing day. I believe you went three and oh yesterday. And overall, the last three days, I know that you're doing pretty good. I believe you are eight and two, I believe, the last three days. I believe you are correct, my sweetheart. Yeah, you are just killing it in basketball. Actually, I'm really excited about this. Um, sports fans, I swept the board, as Dion mentioned a moment ago, yesterday going three and oh, to bring my current college basketball run to eight and two, my last 10. I won my last two NBA releases. Um, I have just one bit, big winner on the board today in college basketball. My $9 Monday moneymaker, guys, and a game of this caliber would normally be posted for $49, but it's $9 Monday on Sports Memo, and I want you to know, I want you to start your week off with a huge, huge, huge payday for just a small investment. Get it right now at Sports Memo. Also, if you want to invest a little bit longer term, I am running red hot in college troops. Dion said it. I said it. This is an ideal time to take advantage of that discount, 99 bucks. the rest of the college basketball campaign from today straight through the last seconds of the college basketball title game. I'm sorry. Our <laughs> dogs are running around again. We've been laughing the whole show. They're just going crazy. Now, uh, let's talk about my free play today. I'm excited about this. Are you excited? I'm excited to hear what you have going on. Here we go. Well, I got it going on, baby. Girl. And I'm on fire. <laughs> All right. Here we go, sports fans. NBA. So the Houston Rockets got a big win last night at home against the Memphis Grizzlies. It shouldn't be such a big thing getting a win in the NBA, my friends. But I don't know if you know this or not. It's been nearly two months. It's like 10 days shy of two months in between victories for this team. Yes, I know they rank 30th defensively in scoring. I also know they sport one of the worst overall records in all of the NBA. But this isn't about who wins or even who looks pretty doing so, my friends. Sports betting is about what? It's about who covers. Uh, and I can't for the life of me figure out why the Miami Heat I get it. They do possess the best record in the East, all right? But I just can't figure out why they're a 15-point favor here. Houston comes in here covering three of their last five and are very respectful. They're a very respectful 5-2 and two ATS in their last seven games played against teams with a winning percentage over 600. I know, I know, I know. Let me say it one more time. I know. <laughs> I know Miami's winning and covering, but this is a team this season that's just 1-4 against the number when laying double digits. This They may win this game. I'm... I'm not saying anything about that, but they are recovering these big numbers, guys. Not only that, but they're just two and five ATS the last seven games played at home. I'm not saying they're going to lose this game straight up, folks, but I am saying 15 points is way too much for a team who does not cover double digits to lay. 
Maybe the Rockets, after last night's mm-hmm. win, take a little pride in themselves. Maybe they're up for this game. I don't see letdown mode here. I don't. You know, you can't be let down when you got one of the worst le- records in the league. You can only be up. Let's bring Jesse back on before we go through some more of our announcements. Damn, he's good looking. I'll tell you that. Uh, Jesse, how do you look this good this early in the morning? I don't know how you do it. Uh, it must be your eyes, Joe. <laughs> I love you, Jesse. With those glasses. I really do. Um, before we run down the games, uh, we've got a few things. Dion's going to start with uh, the discount yeah, program. Yeah, we, we have two amazing things going on. We have that huge discount for everybody right now at Sports Memo for the rest of college basketball, straight through the final seconds of the title game for just $99. You can get that right now for either myself, Joey, or even Jesse, all three of us. You can get that program just $99. And also today is also $9 Monday at the site where you can get any of the cappers $9 today. All right, guys. Also, come join the Wager Talk and Sports Memo families over at a meet and greet March 18th at the Superbook at the Westgate and the Clubhouse. The Clubhouse is right in the book. You can't miss it. And if you can miss it, you'll hear me. Trust me. I'm just as loud a person. <laughs> Dan and I will be there. Come meet some of your favorite personalities from Sports Memo and Wager Talk. We're going to have a lot of fun from a lot of fun from 2 to 7 p.m. Also, once again, guys. This is just great. I love these. Where do you see over the next few weeks? I'm going to be wearing more and more of them. These are T-shirts, hoodies. They got crop tops for the ladies, they crop do. tops for the guys. If you want to wear crop top, that's your <laughs> business. They got the cutest things ever. It is Sports Better's Tees over on Instagram. Sports underscore better, B-E-T-T-O-R underscore Tees. Go over there. Um, let's do the. Let's talk about the YouTube channel and the Twitter pages. Sure. First of all, guys, Sports Memo, we put up a ton of content on the Sports Memo YouTube channel. Go over there. We do this show every day. When baseball starts, and it will start. We're going to be doing another show. John Ryan does some great work over there. He's like, he's like, I'll tell you what, he's like the James Brown of shows. He does. <laughs> he's a hardworking guy. He does a lot of shows. Go over to Sports Memo's YouTube channel. Follow them. Also, go to Sports Memo's Twitter page. All the greatest cappers in the world are on Sports Memo. Okay, they're they're one of the best collections I've ever seen. Um, And they all put up free content, free games, trends, streaks, stories, you name it, futures odds. Go follow uh, Sports Memo's Twitter page. Also, follow my man Jesse Shul, guys, um, over at Jesse Shul. You'll see his Twitter. Dion, what is your Twitter? I am the First Lady of Vegas, and you are? I am at Joe D'Amico Wins. Let's do a rundown, Jesse, if you will. Jesse, what did you have today as a rundown, please? I got Santa Clara currently plus five and a half, but I did instruct everybody to sit on it and wait out, see if they could get a six or a six and a half. And Dion, what did you have, sweetheart? I am going to go with Towson minus five. And I had the Miami Heat taking 15. Dion, it's about that time. Uh, Jesse, any closing comments before we take off for the day? Uh, Just uh, best of luck to everybody, and I hope you're as excited as I am about the NCAA tournament coming up. Absolutely, Absolutely, we are. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm and excited. Then, it's, a Monday, it's a Monday. We're this excited because of the conference tournaments, the NCAA tournament. And, guys, don't count out the NIT, CBI, CIT, all those little ones. There's gold in them, Dar Hills. Dion? I know, and we have a full week ahead of us still, so make sure you tune in every day this week for a all-star lineup of special guests, a ton of free winners. On behalf of Sports Memo, Jesse, Jesse Shul, and us, this is the first family of Vegas. Everybody out there, good luck, and have a winning day.